all Americans infected with Ebola virus being treated in the States right now, and people are freaking out. So we're going to get the facts from a man who just got back from Africa. He's fine. Y'all don't look nervous, but we're letting the <laughs> audience at home know he knows what he's doing because he used to be with CDC. This is the fabulous ABC News chief health and medical editor, Dr. Rich Besser. Rich. <laughs> People are freaking out. Yeah. Tell us everything we need to know in a nutshell about, can I catch it from you right now? You can't catch it from me right now. Why and, not? Well, a, a number of reasons. One is the thing about Ebola that's critically important is you cannot spread this disease unless you are sick, until you're sick. Uh -huh. Different from the common cold where like the day before, right. you could be sharing it, or the flu, you can be sharing it. For Ebola, you have to be sick and very sick. The first symptom you get is fever. Uh -huh. and even then, you're not going to spread it. It's not until things are coming out of both ends right, right. that you're sharing it, and then you're, then you're out of circulation. Okay. How terrifying was it for you to go? It was frightening. Uh, you know, if you are going to the hot zone and you're not afraid, there's something wrong and you could get into trouble. You know, what did I, your family think? Uh, well, this was my second trip. The first time I went, when I got back, my son greeted me with a blanket over his head. Oh. And uh, he's 16 and he said, you know, hi, Dad. And then they, he, he loosened up. This time, I mean, they know that I'm an infectious disease guy. I used to be a disease detective. I, y you don't see on TV the precautions we're taking. You know, I didn't shake a hand from the time I left Newark Airport before I, got, I went until I got back to uh -huh. Newark Airport at the end. For like 10 days, you didn't, I didn't touch a person. Uh -huh. I didn't go into a single building except for my hotel and the place we were, we were broadcasting, except when, when you saw me go into the Ebola ward with a full suit on. Mm -hmm. And that mm -hmm. suit, there were three people who dressed me in that to make sure that every speck of skin was, was covered. There was somebody watching me to make sure I did everything properly in and out. Mm -hmm. And that was the safest place to be. Right. So, and then everywhere else, we're being constantly sprayed down with bleach. Mm -hmm. So I was taking incredible mm -hmm. precautions to make sure that I didn't become the story. Right. This, is, you know, this is the second time you were in the hot zone. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Um, and second time you were in the hot zone. Yeah. And they're saying that like half of the country could die. Is that realistic? If the world doesn't rally around, this is going to be a humanitarian catastrophe, catastrophe like we've never seen. The reason I went and the reason I went back is we need to bear witness to this. We need to show people what this is. It's not just about a man in, in, in Texas who has Ebola. It's about a whole part of the world uh -huh. that is being undermined by this disease, and the international community is not doing enough. You know, I said last week mistakenly that it was curable. It's not curable, but, but it's treatable, right? Well, so, it, so this man in Dallas, yeah. what's, what are they doing for him? So even in Africa, it's not universally fatal. In the, I went to this, this hospital and they were providing care that was unbelievable. Uh -huh. In that setting, it was a 50-50 shot, mm -hmm. right? Half the people walked out of there. And some, a lot of them were healthcare workers and they were being put to work helping care for people in that mm -hmm. ward. In, in Texas, unfortunately, this man is, is in critical condition. Mm -hmm. He's not doing very well. Mm -hmm. He's getting one experimental drug. but is but the Z-TAP? Well, he's not getting Z-MAP. And, and people were saying, you know, how come this guy's not getting the good mm -hmm. stuff? Right. Well, yeah, the reason is there is yeah. none. There is yeah. none. There were there was out. enough to treat like seven people. So there were Folks four. In Atlanta there were four that, people right? in, in four mm -hmm. people in Liberia got it. Mm -hmm. The person in, in Atlanta got it. Somebody got it in uh, uh, the two people in Atlanta got it, and the guy in Spain. And I think four out of the seven or five out of the seven survived. Why can't they make more? That drug, it's 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 incredibly hard to manufacture. They're they're working on it. It's grown in a tobacco plant. So they, they've done genetic modification to grow this, this drug in a plant. It's going to take months to get more. And the reason that the, there isn't more is that no one really cared about treating Ebola. Uh -huh. You know, it's, it, it's a this disease that takes place in, in rural Africa. So no drug company was going to move these forward and no one was paying for it. But now everyone wants the drugs. Is it true that they're uh, running out of um, supplies to protect themselves and that people are actually, the profiteers are raising the price on the gloves and the youth? They're, they're running out of a lot of equipment. When when I was in, uh, in Liberia the first time, I went to a ward, and they were actually making their own protective right. gear. They were cutting holes into, into other pieces right. so they could be protected. It was unbelievable. Richard, I, I have to say, and I, I'm hoping that we can rally folks to, you know, you want to help? Yeah. Get somebody, if you got gloves and stuff laying around your house, you got bandages, whatever you got, and there has to be a way for us to help this. Because if we don't stop it there, yeah. We're in deep, deep, deep doo-doo. Right. It's got to be yes. stopped. Is there. AmeriCares in there? Yeah. AmeriCares, are they in there? I, I don't know. Okay. And it, you know, if you've got some pocket change and can give it to some of these yeah. groups, that would help too.